Hello everyone, back to tuning in to today's fur video. We're going to be looking at the JMA season one for today's fur video. This is the summer 2023 JMA forecast, uh, if you like. So you're going to see what the JMA season one is predicting for summer 2023. This, of course, is ahead of uh, Saturday's third and final summer 2023 seasonal seasonal even model roundup where we're going to get 15 one five long range models together from the world lean forecast saying to see what they're all showing for the summer of 2023 for the third and final time this season the jma model will be included in that update but you can get so much information from this model that you know, we never have time to go through through it in depth. So we always like to take this one out, isolate it out, have a look at it in its own terms. That's what we're doing for this update. I shall get on that for you in a second. Just say at first, BSA or 6 a.m. UK web forecast. And we've also released the XN USA forecast. We've got 10 to 14 day out coming up for you as well. This is like a little bonus video. If you like, please like, share, subscribe on the vid. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Right, we're going to start off with the month one JMA 500 middle bar height, height anomaly from the Arctic and North Pole view down. So this is the North Pole just here. We've got wider uh, circle around there. We've got mid latitudes through here. So blue is extrapolating to below average height, which is low pressure. Yellow, orange, and red to above average height, which is high pressure. Um, now we see that for June, we've got quite a lot of low pressure going down into southern parts of Europe. Looks like wet spell will continue through Spain, Portugal, into Mediterranean as well. Higher pressure will be centred to the north of Scotland between Iceland and Scandinavia. That would lead, uh, lead us into quite an easterly uh, month there for June. A lot of easy winds. Could be quite warm. What you have to watch out for, of course, is below pressure to the south beginning to move northwards and bring wet weather into southern parts of the country. Uh, this is how July is looking, so generally quite an anti-cyclonic month in July, but high pressure looks like it's a little bit centred towards the north and west of Scotland. That could lead to us, yes, relatively dry month, but maybe bringing in the wind from the northeasterly direction quite a lot of the time. So maybe a dry but also uh, rather coolish type month in July. And then August looks like that, so high pressure then looks like it's centred towards Greenland and Iceland. This area here is probably going to be a trough of low pressure in reality. So in August, we've got high pressure to the northwest and low pressure to the south-southwest. That could turn out to be quite an unsettled signal for uh, August, particularly so for more southern parts of the country, um, less so perhaps further north, closer to this area of high pressure up to the northwest. Let's have a look at the tropical mid latitude view. So we can't see the Arctic, North Pole, Greenland, Scandinavia, all those areas drop a chart up here. However, we've had a look at that view down, so we know roughly what's going on. Reminder of the month one. Um, 500 mid bar height. And obviously, you can see the high pressure to the north and if you don't visit Scandinavia, you see it up to the north. These low pressure is to our west winds in from that easterly type direction then. In uh, June, the temperature is a little bit warmer than average, not excessively so, but we do see a little bit of yellow appearing there, which is like one, two degrees above normal, so a rather warm June is being predicted. Um, does look a little bit wetter for the south and drier in the north, so uh, drier for Scotland, but wetter maybe for Ireland, England and Wales. How is the wind flow uh, looking? It does indeed look very easy for black arrows, which is always a job to make out, but they're coming generally from an easy direction. It might be a little bit of a southeast of east tilt to the wind, so that would explain the warm temperatures probably. So it could be quite warm, but watch out the low pressure to get closer and closer to the south from the south um, as we go uh, through the month. So that could eventually bring some quite wet weather into southern parts of the country. Maybe fungi, maybe volatile. Uh, with that. Now, month number two in July, uh, we end up with high pressure towards the northwest of the country, then, which I thought might be bringing the wind perhaps a little bit more from a northeasterly direction. Temperatures are still a little bit above average, but not as warm as they are in uh, June, so like average to slightly above. And uh, slightly above average precipitation as well, maybe a little bit surprisingly. A rather mixed month being predicted there. The uh, wind arrows look like they're coming more east or northeast. So again, see how the black arrows are coming in that direction. But this time, looks like they're slightly more of a northeasterly tilt to those uh, black arrows. So that explains the, the cooler temperature and still a rather, but a rather mixed month predicted there. 
And then uh, lastly, August looks like this. We take the high pressure and send it more towards ice and green, which if you can envisage, is, which if you can envisage, is up there. This creamy kind of area could be a trough of low pressure. Temperature again is average to slightly above. And the precipitation looks wetter to the west and south and drier to the north and northeast. Notice most parts of the continent also coming out quite wet in August. Does look like quite a mix, some of this, I have to say. And uh, as far as the uh, wind direction is concerned, looks quite variable. Easterly, southeast is maybe. Um, oh, you know, could bring up some warmth at times. I wouldn't totally rule out the chance of some warm or even hot weather. But there's no indication here in any of those months, June, July or August, really, of, of like a return or a repeat of last year's extreme heat and, and dry weather. The summer overall from a GMA looks like this. So higher pressure towards the north and northeast, lower pressure is around here. Probably the uh, temperature anomaly looks a bit above average, but again, not excessively hot for this uh, summer. And precipitation actually looks a little bit drier in the north and a little bit wetter in the south, which is a bit of a flip on what you uh, normally expect, but that's particularly down to June, I think. And the overall wind direction for this summer is easterly, which again is a little bit unusual. You don't expect easterlies earlier in the summer, but they normally revert to westerlies later on. But the overall wind direction, you can see with those black arrows again, it's almost like a cross-zonal flow, actually, with the easterlies going all the way from, like, Europe into America. Which is very unusual uh, for, uh, that's very unusual for the summer. And would probably suggest quite a high degree of blocking, actually. Um, if you're going to get a cross zonal flow in uh, in the summer, you do get in winter, you have extreme normal blocking. It's quite unusual, very unusual to get that in the summer, I think. And would suggest quite a lot of uh, high latitude blocking in effect. For this summer. So yeah. It's an interesting one. Uh, from the JMA. Definitely. Uh, with this summer forecast. From the Japanese Meteorological Agency. And no suggestion of anything particularly hot and uh, dry for this summer. Actually looks a little bit mixed. And uh, a lot of easy wind dry. And they can drag up warmth at times. So I wouldn't totally rule out some hot weather. But overall a mixed summer being predicted there by uh, the JMA season. You'll find out on Saturday how this fits in with the rest of the uh, long-range season models from the World Lean Broadcast Centre. It's just one more. Remember, you'll see the full suite of them um, on Saturday. But we've been through the JMA now, anyway, in depth, in detail. And so when that shows up with uh, with, with the season model roundup on Saturday, you'll know, you know how, how it plays out month by month. Right, okay, uh, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please can you like, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. We're going to be back shortly with a 10 to 14 day. I should see you soon for that. For this one, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.